Welcome to Excel in a minute. Formatting a pivot table is important if you want to present your data in a more professional way. And by formatting, we want to achieve a specific way of showing our data. It's a good thing that Excel's pivot tables allow us to do that through its formatting options. In this video, we will show you five formatting tips you need to learn when using pivot tables. Pivot table styles. The first thing that you will notice when you view a pivot table is its style. And by style, we are talking about the colors that you see in the table. To do this, just click anywhere on your pivot table. Then go to the design tab. From here, you will find the similar pre-made table styles for the normal Excel tables in the pivot table styles group. Select your preferred style. Or you can open the drop-down tab to view more pre-made designs. Changing the layout of the pivot table. In the layout group of the design tab, you can find the report layout options. There are five options to choose from which are divided into two separate sections. Here, you can adjust the way the items are presented in your pivot table, in compact form, in outline form, or in tabular form. The default is in compact form which is optimized for readability. While the other two includes field headers. For the second section, the two options allow you to repeat all item labels or not. Removing the expand or collapse buttons. These buttons allow you to expand or collapse items within the pivot table. In the show group of the analyze tab, you can find the buttons option. Clicking this will either show or hide the plus and minus buttons. Hide or display field headers. The field headers are the rows and columns field filter tabs. These labels can also be hidden or displayed using the field headers option in the show group of the analyze tab. Selecting and moving pivot tables. Still in the analyze tab, the select option in the actions group allows you to select a part of the pivot table or all of it. While the move pivot table option allows you to move the pivot table to an existing worksheet where you can also indicate which cell it will start or move it to a new worksheet that will automatically be created once you click OK. And that's it. Those were five pivot table formatting tips which will surely help you on your journey in using Excel's pivot tables. Check out our channel for more lessons about pivot tables. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.